How's my hair? <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here from the House of Masks, and I am with someone very, very special, Mr. Sid Wilson, or Sid, DJ Starscream, number zero from the world famous Slipknot. Oh. 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 It's a deep! It is out of here! We are at the Wilson Estate. What are we doing, dude? Uh, yeah, this is uh, my studio. We have uh, some really cool gear in here. We have uh, MTA Series 980 desk uh, made by Malcolm Toft. We have uh, you know uh, some guitar equipment, heads, cabinets hiding in places, uh, some vintage stuff, some new stuff, some stuff from friends of mine. Um, tape machine, we got a 16 track tape machine. Uh, we've got a nice big pool room that you can see mm -hmm. to your right. Um, we use that as our verb room, like reverb room. Yeah. And it's actually amazing. It's like, it just turned out to be this nice thing that was here when yeah. I got the place. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's like a million dollar verb room as we call it over here. It's so um, So yeah, um, this is the studio. We recorded Swollen Teeth's EP here. Just uh, finished their new album we recorded here. Nice. Did the new album with Ross Robinson, so we uh, co-produced this album. So uh, it's it's pretty awesome, man. Things are rolling around here. Yeah, man. and they're only seeing a small portion because there's another room. Yeah, on there's the a other B side. room. This is the A room. Uh, there's a B room in here in the A room uh, with the desk. We have like you know some Yamahas just for what um, reference to everyone's stereos. We got some Adam audios which are kind of the high end. Um, while you've got workflow going, and then in the corners I got the vintage setups for uh, vintage sound three ways. And uh, I just keep collecting equipment and adding more to it, and we just keep getting weird around here and trying to do the fusion of like old school uh, tape machine recording and vintage gear uh, mixed with new digital greatness. So A room's kind of more old school analog. Uh, B room is also analog, but then analog digital. So it's got like the DJ stuff and the keyboards and all that. There's a vocal booth in there. There's different speakers in there. We have Genelux in there. So that's like, I'll go in there and mix a lot of the time. Um, whole space here, basically. We have a whole compound. So it's uh, secluded away from the city. We have uh, accommodations for the band. When uh, the band comes to record here, we have uh, place for them to make their food, their own kitchen, their own hangout areas. Uh, it's just set up kind of like the old school Indigo Ranch workflow. Where yeah. Everyone's living together in a house and uh, you wake up, you start working. Yeah. And when you stop working, you go to sleep. I'm not even doing anything and that's how I fell sleeping on the couch last night. Yeah. I like how you wake up through the night and see everything and be like, holy shit, like this is it. Yeah, so and you know, um, we build uh, film sets out here, doing music videos, like and you know, anything you need to do, it's all can be happening kind of at the same time yeah. and flowing. It was a you full know? blown production last night. It was yeah. super sick to see. Yeah, so it's it's cool man. It's a it's a it's a environment um, set up so that when the artist comes to work they're only focused on what they're working on yeah. if they need to take a break step away from it there's plenty of things to do you can go walk some trails out into the wilderness uh, you know there's we're out in the country so it's yeah. like there's quite a few things you can do to uh, free your mind uh, go check out some animals or go to the pond or uh, go ride some four wheelers or whatever it is you know what I mean just kind of but you don't, uh, there's an arcade here too. You know, you want to go outside and yeah. get a little arcade in here. We've got a racing simulator. We've got like a 
there's plenty of things to do at the estate. You get, yeah. you get very productive when you're in this kind of environment. I was going to say, I haven't it. seen it stop since I've been here. And like, even as we're doing this work right now, yeah. there's something else that's something happening outside right on. now, currently. Yeah. That's awesome. That I should be out watching, but it's okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've met a boiling point today. I yeah. Think. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It really is. I don't know what I expected. But I love this a lot more than whatever was in my head. Yeah, when when you get in that kind of workflow too, it um, you just start doing it naturally. Yeah, like you're breathing. You're addicted. You know, to it's like you're not walking into a situation and then feeling pressure of uh, the creative process and making sure that you come up with something because you've been doing it every day. It's all you know. Yeah. At that point, you know, there's a certain you'll reach a certain day where it's like you don't even know anything else anymore. Yeah, <laughs> literally Kelly yesterday upset because your day off was spent doing the project. I know. I well, kind of because I'm not directing this video. Yeah, Mega directed this video, so I'm just assisting. Yeah, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm just assisting, giving little pointers yeah. and things. You know. And I love it. I'm all for it. I the think things bounce. Best. You know, with the creatives, you're yeah, you're, you're talking with each other, bouncing things off each other. Things happen, and then yeah. you get really epic. Yeah. you know setups and you're like oh man that's, that's how perfect. it was yeah all night everybody was like what about this and then they do it and it'd be yeah. sick the what more minds you got and, and yeah. eyes it's like and everyone has some kind of uh, good creative input you know that's you get really cool things happening oh yeah yeah, yeah well uh, I'll take you upstairs and we'll show you something else oh the goods alright let's go <laughs>